Hi, hello, how are you all? Welcome to my channel, Law Made Simple with me, Vidya Reddy. In the earlier videos, we have learned what is a trade union, how is it registered, what are the advantages in registering the trade union. Now, let us learn how to dissolve a trade union by registering it. Section 27 of the Trade Union Act provides the information regarding the dissolution of a trade union. When a registered trade union is dissolved, notice of the dissolution, it should be signed by seven members and also by the secretary of the trade union and they should submit within 14 days to the register. The registrar, he will check if the dissolution has been satisfied and it is according to the rules of the trade union or not. And if he is satisfied with that rules, then the dissolution shall have, have effect from that date of registration. Where the dissolution of a registered trade union ha has been registered and the rules of the trade union do not provide for the distribution of the funds of the trade union, then on dissolution, the registrar shall divide the fund amongst the members in such a manner as may be prescribed. So, if the rules of the trade union doesn't provide, if for example, if a trade union is dissolved, so if any rules are not provided how to divide the funds, then it is the responsibility of the registrar to divide the fund amongst the members who have contributed to that trade union. We have a case law, Karur El Talur Ex Tapas Association versus R Nadar. So it has been observed that on the dissolution of the union, the property of the union doesn't cease to be the property of the union. The registrar should have sold the property and divide the proceeds thereof to the members of the union and the division of the property will be both movable as well as immovable according to the prescribed procedures. Where the registrar under section 27 clause 2 must distribute the funds of the dissolved trade union, he shall divide the funds in proportion to the amounts contributed by the members by the way of subscription during their membership. So, the trade union members will give the subscription to the general fund. So, in that manner only, the funds will be distributed in according to that proportion. Fines and forfeitures paid by the members and the benefits and some kind of similar payments received by the other members which are in according to the rules only that will not be taken into consideration. And if the rules of a trade union do not provide for the dissolution of a trade union, like any other voluntary association, the dissolution is possible only with the consent of all the members or by an order of the court. So, if the trade union rules doesn't provide how to dissolve a trade union, prop, how after the dissolution of a trade union property, how to divide the funds and all, then like any other uh, voluntary association, the consent of all the members or an order of the court will be taken into consideration by the registrar.